right, welcome to my channel. I just like to thank everybody that's been subscribing, thumbs up, and pressing the reminder. I've got something completely different. This is my friend Simon's BMW. Okay, so I'm, without further ado, I'm going to ask Simon a few questions about it. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Um, what, can you tell me what model it is and uh, a bit of detail about the car? Oh, can you tell me? Simon, a bit about the car? Yep, this is a BMW E46 330 um, coupe. It's a petrol powered 3 litre engine and it's the sport version. So it's from uh, 2004. It's one of the later versions of it and I've been enjoying it for the last five years or so. Okay, and I noticed it's a, it's a, it's a two door <laughs> instead of a four door. Yeah, immaturely, two doors. Um, coupe version, uh, two seats in the back, two seats in the front, sliding roof. A few, yeah, a few funny extras. We've got the sunroof. We've got a, a weird screen that pops up over the back windscreen, and um, yeah, that's about it, really. Okay, all right, okay. So, without further ado, we'll have a little wander around it. Yeah, this is the front of it. There we've got that beautiful shiny BMW badge just underneath that chrome grille. This is the beginning of like, um, I suppose the sports styling that it has. It comes around, it rides pretty low, it's quite stiff. And uh, it's pretty funny actually, because even though it's now 18 years old, it's got loads of sort of like standard features of a modern like bog standard car. You know, like electric mirrors and like, maybe not dipping headlights can't remember it's got like some sensor or something there's that beautiful twin exhaust pipe that you're going to get to hear in a second shall i pop the hood we're going to go around the other side first i'm just going to go around slowly okay So next Simon, can we have a look under the bonnet? Alright, tell us a bit about the engine. We have got ourselves a 3 litre petrol powered straight six. So not too much has, uh, has changed with it over the years I don't think. And we've got ourselves an auto gearbox. Okay, alright. Supposedly somewhere around 220 horsepower. Alright, okay. Okay, Simon, can we have a look in the boot? Okay, it's quite clean and spacious. That looks good. Yeah, we've got, got a lovely little BMW toolkit as well. Okay, and, can and we have a look at that? And amusingly, I haven't changed any of the uh, the audio stuff inside. Okay, oh, well, that looks good. Okay, so, it's all so uh, you want to see this one, actually, Rob? Hang on, hang on a minute. So in here, okay, we've, we've got the original it. CD changer. Oh, that's wow. got this comedy, like pops out. Multi changer. Yeah, look at that. Takes it back a bit, doesn't oh, it? It does. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Some oh, versions, okay. I think, even came with a DVD player. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So this is the inside and the trim. Okay. It's got. What are the seats made of, Simon? I think they're called Alicante or something. Alicante, which okay. is a bit of a, a peculiar feel to it. That's quite nice. Instead of just having the leather, and we've got ourselves full electric seats as well. All right. And in the back, you can see your ample room there with the walnut um, trim. Yeah, let's have a look in the boot, in the back rather, in the back, on the back seats. Uh, they look good. Nice one. Okay. Oh, shall I show you this comedy screen thing? Is it electric, is it? I need to turn it on. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, okay. Wow, alright. What an optional extra. And take it down. Okay, I've never seen that in the car before. There you go. 
Okay, and we're going to come around the other side and have a look at the, the dash. Right, let's have a little look at the dash to start with. Uh, okay, that's the dash. <coughs> that's the stereo, the heating controls, electric windows, handbrake down here. We've got some lights. Okay. All right. So one more question, Simon. How many miles has it done? One hundred eighty-seven thousand, and still going strong. Okay. plans for this car? Well, so the best thing about doing this video, Rob, is it's a bit of a precursor to another video that we're going to do, and it's about my other BMW. Right. So this BMW is off to meet its third owner, because yeah. I'm the second owner. Okay. And some lucky person is going to get to thoroughly enjoy a turn of the century classic. Okay. Because I've gone and got myself a brand new BMW. Okay. And I think it's worthy of you doing one of your videos. On this new car? Yeah, is that right? Well, we'll see what we could fit in, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to... Uh... So, you're, you're open to offers, I take it, on this car? Yeah, yeah, open to offers. You know, hopefully go to someone that loves BMWs. Somebody that's going to take care of it and a BMW person. Yeah, hill climbs circuits hopefully not one of those uh just turn it into a drift car like you can see everywhere oh okay and then in a few weeks i guess we can do our uh, our other video on the um on the, the surprise bmw okay well we'll keep that secret until we get to it okay done cosy will be done by then won't it <laughs> well the cosworth is uh, still got a lot of work to do to it before we get uh, to the stage where we can go out on the road because we've got to get MOT first and uh, I've got the back brakes I've got all the front 
sorted out. I'm just going to put the front discs. Well, you're doing uh, the springs as well, on. you as well? On the back, yeah, yeah, I got some rear springs to put in and uh, and do the brakes, check the brakes over, and uh, oh, well, this morning, what was it you were putting on that? This morning, oh, the I was bar. putting the anti roll bar on, yeah, it's all coming together, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. So, from that point of view, um, it is coming together slowly, uh, but because well, uh, we could do a video, can we, of, uh, of this BMW trying to beat your Cosworth. Well, well, there wouldn't be too much, you know, competition there, really, you know, as well as I do. Uh, Thanks again, Simon, and appreciate that. Anybody that's interested in this car, uh, I should put Simon's email underneath. Contact him. Don't contact me. Uh, so thanks again, everybody. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and press the reminder button. Thank you very much. Bye now.